One, go! We'll get things rolling here for playoffs match number eight here at your district championship. Yet an ongoing crazy story of an afternoon and it's only going to get better from here, folks. There's the Sushi Squad for the Red Alliance jumping their way forward there. This time they do bring the full Wasabi dropping off all intended game pieces, it would appear, into their respective scoring zones. It's still, however, not quite enough to give their Red Alliance the lead coming out of the autonomous period. Four points separate your two alliances, favoring blue for the time being. Up goes a cone from the Cybears. Wobbling, wobbling, third time today. They've had a near-death experience. I guess it would be on the second it was a near-death. They did fall over once this weekend. They do right things, and they'll drag that cone now across the field, holding it up in the air as they go around CPR, back over towards the Alliance wall. They're looking to complete yet another link. There's the third link completed on your blue Alliance wall already with over a minute and a half left to play. 94 to 73, your score here so far. Look at that, some teamwork there on the Blue Alliance as the Cybears push a cube into the grabber mechanism of the Flaming Chickens. Both of them will bring those game pieces over to the middle row of their Alliance grids. The cone gets placed on the far right node and in the center cooperation node. That'll be a cube scored. Four links scored so far on red. They're starting to really pick things up here as Sushi and CPR start dialing in their overall strategy. A little bit of a bump in midfield with the Blue Alliance robots but they're able to break free. There's CPR dropping off the game piece on the middle row. Spartronics from Bainbridge drop off on the lower row for two points, and there's Sushi's Cone for three as they get stuck on the cable protector on their way across. Got the Flaming Chickens having connection problems over there on the Blue Alliance side of the field, and it's going to force their Alliance partners, the Cybears, to take the longer way across en route back to the loading zone in the bottom left corner of the field. They'll run across now. They have to go up and over the charge platform, and that's a really top-heavy robot, so they just had about their fourth near-death experience as they nearly do a backflip on the way up, but they do regain control of that machine, and they'll head back and forth once more here. Three points separate your two alliances. 15 seconds separate us from the results of this match. Nobody's necessarily going home after this one, and maybe that's good news because Sushi Squad's knocks their alliance partner over pretty aggressively, honestly. They did need to get that robot off of that platform to make sure it could balance cleanly and get those docked and engaged points. But that was perhaps the bluntest approach to getting there they could have asked for. Your live score was separated by just 10 points. Your final score is subject to referee review in a moment.
All right, attention in the stands and on the stream. The Red Alliance in this match has been issued a red card for violation of rule G205. Damaging contact inside the frame perimeter of the 1540 Flaming Chickens machine there on blue, resulting in its inability to drive for the remainder of the match. So again, that is a red card, Red Alliance, Violation of rule G205, damaging contact inside the frame perimeter of a robot, resulting in its inability to drive the remainder of the match. With that said, our final results for match number eight have been certified as a Blue Alliance victory. Your final score, 172 points on the Blue Alliance. And due to that red card, the Red Alliance has their score negated and will automatically be advancing into the lower bracket regardless of what they did during that match. Yeah, Josh, always an unfortunate